think of it from this side how we can help. Like, um, why should I listen to you? Don't get a puppy if you don't have time for it. They're like, okay, over them shots or fired. Please. It's hard because they are showstoppers. I feel like this last year or so, um, we've got taken in a lot of puppy mill moms after they were done being bred. They just get want to get rid of them because they don't need them anymore. Mm -hmm. And um, but they most of the puppy mills are from Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, mm -hmm. <laughs> you get them from puppy mills, but do you get them from um, other shelters and stuff that you find that people are? Oh, I, I'm returning my dog. I can't take care of it anymore because it's too much for me now. Yeah, yeah majority is from shelters where they just turned in their. Um, their dog at the shelter and the shelter contacts us. Lately it has been, um, again, a lot of owners um, that now the dog is two to three years old and they don't want to take care of anymore. They probably got it as a cute little puppy when they were home and then now they're saying it's too much for them and so our age group right now that we've been, a lot of people, it's been an influx of people just saying can't keep their dog right now. Yeah. Um, so, and for a lot of shelters, we're full. I mean, you know, it's just, it's been really, um, really crazy mm -hmm. for the rescues right now for all dogs mm. yeah why would you say that most people give up their malamutes number one reason they um they don't listen to the people and they can't control them mm -hmm. so and for malamutes they're highly intelligent mm -hmm. so their attitude is like um why should i listen to you yeah. why should i do anything for you, you yeah. know? they were bred to be intelligent to navigate to mm -hmm. you know the sled country and all that so they have a brain of their own so that's why we use reward space positive reinforcement training. Mm -hmm. So it's like, we make it fun for them. Yeah, you wanna yeah. play with this? Come on, let's go do this. They're like, okay. <laughs> you know? But it's, so many people don't know that. So they watch TV, they watch or whatever, or they do their best and they take them to a board and train. Great, not so great. Mm -hmm. Looks great, but then the dog comes back. He's fearful. When the dog is fearful, they become reactive. Malamutes, mm -hmm. they will, be, they are less tolerant than most dogs mm -hmm. because they're so smart. Yeah. You know, many dogs will put up a lot. They're more forgiving. Mm -hmm. Some, not all Malamutes, are not as forgiving. Yeah. You go over their head, they like, what are you doing? Right. What are Especially you doing? if they've had a negative experience, then mm -hmm. they're like, like this. So then now you've got this massive beast who is doing like that to strangers, to kids. You know, they use the shock. And, and then if kids or other people react to that reaction, then it's just a... That caused me pain when I wanted to go say hi to the kids. Mm. You know, so it's like, it's, so people don't know, they do the best with the information that they have. Mm -hmm. And Malamutes are very people, peop like they want to be with their people. And a lot of that we're seeing lately is the separation anxiety. Mm, they had the cute too. puppy when it was small and now, you know, they're going back to work or can't do this or potty training. They didn't do the right, correct um, way of potty training. And, oh, it, you know, it's peeing in the house. I don't know what to do or, just crying when we're gone, you know, those kinds of um, things right now. I feel like that people are giving up. It's dogs. human yeah. nature. No. Punish, you know. No, right. no, no. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm going to do it without your presence. So the pain continues behind the couch whenever the person's not looking. Mm -hmm. And then when they're little, they, they need chewing. They need lots of natural chews. They need mental stimulation in the summertime. They go crazy, right? Because they can't be outside. So people don't realize that it's the mental stimulation too, enrichment, getting mm -hmm. them to do natural fun things indoors, yeah. lickies, you not know. Necessar so not, not necessarily that you're, oh, I, I, I take my puppy and I go, you know, five miles a day. Exactly. It's not necessarily just the actual exercise. exercise. Exactly, it's mental too. And like she said, they're, they're family dogs and all of a sudden you leave and you're like, oh my God, I gotta go, I gotta go. I mean, this is human nature, yeah. right? But the mm. dogs don't understand that they're like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? And yeah. then they freak out. And then when a dog of this size freaks out, even if it's a puppy or whatever, we've had people that they've come home and the insides of the queen size bed mattress has been all dug in and they've made themselves their own little den. Wow. They, they could be destructive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sofas, leather sofas, shredded. <laughs> natural chew toys, their own natural, you know, way to cope almost e with exactly. lack of um, you know, yeah. people being around. I mean, obviously we can't be around 24 hours a day right. all the time. Right. Of course we'd love to, but <laughs> exactly. it's not ideal. But you build confidence in them. Yeah, and it's doing it right from the start, from the get-go. Rewards-based yeah. mm -hmm. gives you that. Mm -hmm. It's positive. So it's like, oh, okay, I'm okay for a little, and there's little trainings that you can do mm -hmm. a little at a time to build up to that. But if yeah. you don't know, you don't know. Yeah. And then you have this great problem. Mm -hmm. and they love to chew wood. So there's one beautiful little Malamute. 
he kept her for like the hardest. He was like, she was almost two when he, he surrendered her to us. She ate, tore up, chewed up every wood sill, the stairs, the last step to the outdoor wooden stairs. He got her a fence, a beautiful pro a fence. He did as much as he could, but it was just too much, wow. you know? And he gave her to us and, and um, we yeah. found her home and he was very happy. It was hard. Yeah. It's well, hard. if you, especially when you, you love your dog or, and there's always going to be certain situations like that. It's like he tried so much and, you know, I've, all of them are individuals and some yes. of them are going to be so much more difficult yes. than one versus the other. You know, you could get a crazy one or get a nice, really calm one. And yeah. it, you, have, you have your norms for Malmutes, but then each one is so, we've learned over the years, each one is so unique in their own personality and their own way. So mm -hmm. yeah. We had one that was an owner surrender and they used a shock on him and it burned. It burned him right through there. And do you believe this dog is like still loving oh. people, still wow. trusting? It just blew my mind. Yeah. And but by another token, the same a different dog could have been completely absolutely reactive and aggressive after that situation. And some of those you can't you can't you hardly can. save them anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's because even even the best, we could do our very best, but then how we train for this. We're, how can we expect someone else? We're having difficult times finding good homes for our good Malamutes that are, you know, happy, go lucky. Much less one that's already has a bite history and all this. Yeah. And so it's it's really sad. So we're like, please, please. Yeah. Let's prevent the bite. Prevent it before yes. it actually before yeah. that happens. Again, most of these dogs just end up in rescues and places Shelters, two yeah. years later mm -hmm. because they're no longer the adorable puppy and right. you know they tear up stuff and it's. Yeah. <laughs> a mattress. How much, time, how much time they take. It takes a lot to put into a puppy, any puppy. Mm -hmm. um, people don't realize how much time it takes to yeah. make them great. And they really kind of yeah. like, until about they're maybe three or four, then they like, oh, okay. They're I'm still puppies to the Exactly. Three or four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Settle in they're, a bit better. Yeah. Some, of, some of them. <laughs> maybe not all of them, but. <laughs> yeah. And I think the, the sheer size of, you know, Malamutes or large big dogs too, it, it makes that much more of a difference, you know, when they're tearing up the sofa versus, a, you know, a, little, a Shih Tzu or something, right. you know. Everything's and, so uh, much more dramatic. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they're very assertive. They'll get in your face. <gasps> yeah. My husband, he um, likes to eat you know Popeye's fried chicken uh. he always shares his food I'm like baby that's okay we share but make sure they're in their place when they're chat and that they're quiet well yeah. we have Athena and she is so cute so animated and she sits up here and he's eating and he gives her a piece and she's like whoa, whoa. he keeps sassing her and she keeps sassing him and he keeps reinforcing it and then he's like I've had enough I need to eat some too Athena yeah. and then she's like how Whoa. dare you? <laughs> They're very, I want what I want, Starts what I want it now. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. uh-uh, Athena, uh-uh. And he keeps it, and then she goes, <laughs> and she like whacks it. My husband's a big guy. He's like, ow, that hurt. <laughs> Different energy versus a chihuahua. Like, yes, you know? it was super cute. Though. I'm like, it was super cute though. It's but so yeah. cute. <laughs> so, so then he's like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll start reinforcing her when she's quiet in her place. Yeah. So she, when, now when she wants to beg, she'll run into her crate or in her place on the sofa and mm -hmm. she'll be quiet like this and she'll be looking at you. <laughs> That's adorable. That yeah. is a good trait to say about Malamutes. They want what they want when they want it now. Yeah. And teaching them self-control as puppies is a big, big deal. And mm -hmm. people don't realize that. And I think people find it difficult too, maybe with larger breeds, that to be more assertive. Because yeah. for some people, they are more intimidating. Yeah. You and know? as they get bigger. As they get bigger, mm -hmm. they get them again. They get them as this tiny, adorable yeah. little puppy they can pick now up and cuddle and stuff. Now he wants to at me and he yep. wants to do what he wants to do. And yeah, <laughs> he's being aggressive. No, he's just asserting himself <laughs> and he's telling you exactly how he yeah. feels. Mm -hmm. So, but that's why we reinforce. Human nature is for us to say no move people this you know but for animals they're like no okay what <laughs> so we we do this um uh, we ask people let's just start by reinforcing the good that they're already doing mm -hmm. say they're quiet oh reinforce that with a little treat right say they stop for two seconds before darting out the door <gasps> reinforce that moment mm -hmm. and pretty soon these dogs start repeating that what is something that people don't understand specifically about this breed that you guys would love people to know about? 
They shed a lot. I mean, everybody knows they shed a lot, <laughs> but they shed a lot. Um, and yeah, the biggest thing is, um, you know, don't get a puppy if you don't have time for it because these guys need time. No matter um, how cute they are. No matter how cute and fluffy they are, they need your time. But if you put the time into them, they're wonderful dogs. Mm -hmm. I mean, even the, the ones that we get in that have, you know, you know, we're talking about all this terrible stuff that, you know, anxieties and stuff, but the, the folks that come to us are Malmute people that want to adopt and they know Putting the time in, like at least six months to a year or whatever, you just see your outcome of just a wonderful dog at you. And I feel like they bond better too when they when you put in the time and the energy and the training. Um, the bond that you have for Malmutes is wonderful. Um, they just um, the, to learn the trust. They're all most of them are about trust. Mm -hmm. um, so putting the time into them is what I would. I but mean, speaking yeah. on cute and fluffy, the number one thing I'd ask people, just because you're cute and fluffy doesn't mean they want you in their face <laughs> or, or hovering oh, over them or fired. squeezing them or it's, hugging them. It's She's hard. A, some, yeah. some, it's hard. Some dogs like Chinook, she is, her love language is affection. She wants you to squeeze so her. So that's okay. Yes. Yeah. But not all of them are like that. But they look like it, right? Yeah. We have some that are like, oh, it's so cute. Hi. And they'll flirt with you the moment you get close. They're like, I need my bubble, please. Yeah. I need my bubble. Yeah. Like some people. <laughs> it's, it's hard. Exactly. It's hard because they are showstoppers and everybody wants yeah. to come up and pet them. And just like. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are there any changes you guys would like to see in this uh, rescue industry or anything like that that you would... Well, just be. like you brought up, just having more information for people out there that need it. Um, just, um, I mean, like we tried to make the change of giving more free training, free information. I mean, everything's free and it's at your, you know, exposal to like just click and look and look it up and find it. Um, I, I just wish that people would like... Or research the breed, I guess, yeah. yeah. Pause a moment and yeah. see the dog mm -hmm. that's in front of them and just... Identity. We are so don't, sur don't surrender your dog so quickly. Yeah, spend the time with taking care of what yeah. they need, and yeah. We're teaching the dog English. Why aren't they listening to me? Sit. Oh my God. Why aren't you doing? It? Sit. I said sit. Well, the dog reads body language. We're literally teaching them English. Why don't we do a better part of ourselves to understand how to better communicate mm. with this animal? We're supposed to be the smarter species, right? Yeah. So we need to just. You know, just there's no ego in this, right? It's mm -hmm. about doing the best for the dog that we have in front of us. Each dog is a unique individual. There is no one strict recipe. It's mm -hmm. it's different ingredients that we're dealing with with each dog. Mm -hmm. So we can provide free foundations, um, information on behavior and training and stuff. But but you got to know your dog, and you really got to watch and read his body language. What is he saying? What is she saying to you? Mm -hmm. We're so busy. You know, being humans that we are, trying yeah. to tell the dog, sit, yeah, yeah, sit, sit, and wondering, and the dog is really, really excited. Sit, I said sit. Yeah. You know, meanwhile, this dog is old, you know, he's got arthritis, mm. it's a slippery floor. The last thing that poor dog wants to do is sit. Mm -hmm. And that's everyone's go-to is sit, 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 sit. Yeah. So for me, I'm just like, just drop a treat on the ground. Let's reinforce. We want him on the ground. Drop a treat on the ground. Just, you know... Give them something to do. Show them what you want. Mm -hmm. Find out what behavior you want to see instead. Think of it from this side, mm -hmm. how we can help the dog. It's just an animal. Yeah. It's an animal. Why don't we spend more time learning about how to meet the needs of this animal to build this healthy bond and relationship on trust? Mm -hmm. um, and people, a lot of people like to think, oh, treat givers, treat givers, you know, it's not real training or whatever. Well, you know, it's, I mean, I, I can see why they would say that, but at the same time, it's like, no, we're, it's more than just training. Yeah. We're showing, we're coaching these dogs what to do. This is a relationship. Mm -hmm. Relationships is two-way communication, right? You listen and you speak. If it's only one way, how healthy is that relationship? Right. Right? Mm -hmm. If you're yanking on the dog and making them do things like that, you know, in the human relationship, what is that called? Yeah. But it's okay because it, it's an animal? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. And it's But it's human nature for us. We yeah. see the animal and it's just easier for us to move it. The yep. little dogs, people just pick it up. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> These little dogs are going up and <laughs> no wonder they have fear issues, right? <laughs> no wonder they don't want to be picked up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Giving dogs a choice. It's not being permissive, right? Mm -hmm. But that's why you need a trainer to help you on this journey. Mm -hmm. And we provide us as much educational skills information as possible so people can educate themselves they can get more out of the experience when they do hire a trainer mm -hmm.
them people say, oh, they make the worst guard dogs. Well, you know, some Malamutes, it depends on how they were bred, what they have in them in mm -hmm. the past. We don't know genetics. We can't see everything. But at the same time, if you love your family, you can be a little protective sometimes about your family. So people just assume, oh, yeah, it's going to be friendly with everyone. They love their families. Yeah. You're their family, they're not. Mm -hmm. Some people are more open to strangers, just like us. Yeah. I'm pretty open to strangers. Um, but, you know, other people are like, yeah, mm, I need my space, I'm not really interested. Well, same thing with the Malamute. So you easily can have a Malamute bite somebody if, you know, you just, yeah, come on in. You know, it, it can happen. Yeah. So you, you you're like, oh, it's fine, and the dog's like, whoa, 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 wait a second, hang on. Exactly. I did not. I did not okay this. Exactly. <laughs> Especially if the dog is afraid for whatever reason. Dogs are really smart. They can smell. Some people, you know, have take medication for certain things. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've seen dogs react with people with cancer. They're like acting different, or with another dog. Why is this dog acting different with that? Well, it's cancer, and they can smell it, mm -hmm. and they're just like wanting distance or it's yeah. scary again mm -hmm. depending on the personality yeah mm -hmm. and p pictures oh my goodness i forgot about pictures they don't like the staring that's polite right yeah it's so polite for me to talk to you <laughs> shake your like hand paying attention to you right <laughs> well, like you do that eyes, to yeah. a dog but especially to a malamute oh it's on yeah right? <laughs> oh, unless it's like a dog whose love language is affection oh are okay. they being you know okay yes, exactly it's on yeah, right. and it's again, it's the human nature part of us. Mm -hmm. I need, I need space. Mm -hmm. It's okay. My dog's friendly. Mine isn't. Yeah, mine yeah. needs the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Always ask. Always ask. Yeah. <laughs> and we could talk about the difference between because we're getting a lot of huskies. There's so many huskies right now in the shelter compared to malamutes, and mm -hmm. just a difference in the look. They are bigger. Um, their ears will go wider, they're wider set, and um, they're not, I feel like huskies are more narrow set in their front chest area. Mm -hmm. And Malamute's tails curl. Um, huskies, if it's a nicely bred husky, the tail won't curl. Yeah. Um, so just some things about what a Malamute looks like yeah, compared to huskies. Cause yeah. Everybody says, oh, that's a cute husky or, you know. You're like, huskies no, are tiny yeah. in comparison. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well. and sometimes we kind of accept the Malinuffs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like lately we've had a lot of mixes coming through the rescue. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, that could go, that really honestly could just go back to the, your backyard breeders it who is. were like, well, this one's right close enough. Nobody's going to actually know. Well, they it's... say it, they, they've been calling it a Malamute. Oh, it's a Malamute. I yeah. got a Malamute from the pet store. It's a Malamute. And, you know, it's about 60 pounds. You can yeah. tell it wasn't bred very well. Or you know. Are you guys still in need of lots of fosters? Yes, always in need of fosters. Um, I feel like the last fosters we've had, of course, adopt the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we love that. And then now we got to find a new foster. But a lot of our dogs, I will say, are going into foster to adopt right now and so we lose you know they're approved fosters they're approved adopters um but um yeah finding fosters right now is very difficult it's, it's we're having a lull of adoptions too right now I, we have no idea what's going on so yeah prices probably of everything being so more expensive um vets are more expensive even for rescues yeah. um so everybody's struggling right now everybody it's... so everybody doesn't want to take on a dog even to foster we pay for everything you know med medications food crate we supply everything um and just yeah finding somebody willing to spend the time you know to mm -hmm. do that as fostering um has been difficult so yeah. yeah we're here because we love the breed and you know we wouldn't be here without our volunteers mm -hmm. and everything that help us run every day and all our supporters our adopters everything um you know we can't save them if you know we don't have our volunteers and our funds coming in and our adopters so mm -hmm. Um, yep, we're on 100% donations yeah. and for volunteer all volunteers. Work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have great supporters. Yeah. Every like we appreciate, we cherish, mm -hmm. you know, and any comment, it helps us yeah. get in there. And then the most share. Share, sharing share. on Facebook is mm -hmm. a big thing. Please where share. Else can <laughs> yeah. So we can find you on Facebook. Is there anywhere else so they can find you? Your Instagram. website, your Instagram, and our website, website. your mm -hmm. website. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys so thank much. You. I appreciate thank you for having, having us today. And, yeah. Well, it's a beautiful place. Thank you for picking yeah. this place too. I was like, oh, this is lovely to be outside, yeah. but in the shade and everything. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> we love this here in Gettysburg. So.